this question is given in gate 2005 it is about um, they said that they are have you know uh, the, this table is given and then they are saying that there are two attributes a and c where a is the primary key so what is primary key we know that the values have should not be you know are repeated as well as they should not be null so a is actually a primary key if you look at it the values are not repeated right anywhere and it can be null sorry it cannot be null and therefore it is not null also right a is the primary key and c is the foreign key referencing a uh, with on cask on delete cascade uh, let's put that cascade part later they are saying that c is the foreign key referencing a which means this particular attribute c is going to refer to a that is what they are saying right so what is the meaning of it any value which is going to be here should definitely be here right for example watch it uh, let us say an employee is going to have a super uh, super you know supervisor who is also an employee right now if it is the employee id i'm just taking a correlation okay and if it is the supervisor id employee id and supervisor id definitely every supervisor has to be an employee therefore if a value has to be present here in this column it has to be present in this column why because super supervisor is also an, an employee so if a, if a if there is no employee you cannot mark him as a supervisor right so this one refers this and they are saying that it is on delete cascade on delete cascade means in case if you delete any uh, any row uh, which is having some primary key then you are supposed to delete all the rows which are referring to that primary key which means uh, you know this example really doesn't uh, tell you the clear you know clear way but maybe you can think of that uh, dependence let us say in a in a company there are some employees right and now this is the employee id and this is the employee table and there is one more table which is dependents right and this is the dependent id or let us say dependent name and you know here we are going to have employee id so this particular employee id is going to refer to this saying that this particular dependent is from this employee right so now since it is going to refer to this whenever you delete someone from this table some employee from this table cascade on delete delete means all the dependents who are having that particular let us say you are going to delete an employee number 10 right then cascade on delete means all the dependents who are depending on employee number 10 should all be deleted let us say there are three dependents for abc sorry abc are the three dependents for employee 10 now if this eid refers to this if this is the foreign key to this primary key in case if you delete an employee then you are supposed to delete all the uh, dependents of that employee right that is uh, delete on cascade or on delete cascade on delete on, ca on delete cascade means whenever you delete a tuple that delete effect is going to cascade everywhere right so the same thing can even be applied in this recursive function it is a recursive relation isn't it the reason why it is recursive relation is uh, you know on the same table there is a key which is referring to this you know uh, some other attribute in the same table right so now now watch it so we are going to i'm saying that okay i'll just read out the question the set of all tuples that must be additionally deleted to preserve the referential integrity when the tuple 2 comma 4 is deleted which means they want to delete this tuple 2 comma 4 right if i delete this what are the other tuples that have to be deleted in order to you know save the referential integrity so what is it whenever you delete a tuple then the tuples which are referring to that particular tuple should also be deleted otherwise the database would be inconsistent you know in case of this uh, you know on delete cascade you are supposed to delete all the others in case of on delete nullify we are going to put null values in that places right so i'll just take both the examples and explain you see this now the employee id or employee number 2 is deleted right therefore anyone and you know it is not actually employee id let us say attribute a attribute a with the value 2 is deleted therefore anyone who is going to refer to this value 2 should also be deleted now if you watch it 
there are two tuples which are actually referring to this particular value 2 right therefore these tuples are are no longer valid because let us say this is some kind of dependent there is employee 2 and these two employees are depending on him now when once you delete that employee the dependent should also be deleted got it therefore this one has to be deleted and this one has to be deleted but then the deletion is cascading which means it will not stop there see now now 5 has been deleted isn't it therefore all the tuples which are referring to 5 should also be deleted now if you watch all the tuples which are referring to 5 this is the one right so this one also has to be deleted got it and now 7 is deleted therefore all the tuples which are referring to 7 should be deleted but there is no one who is, who is actually referring to 7 right and 9 is deleted and all the tuples which are referring to 9 should be deleted but no one which, who is referring to 9 therefore only these three additional deletions should be done in order to have the referential integrity so what is the option 5 2 7 2 and 9 5 have to be deleted c is the option right see this one is on delete cascade that is one option see we have three options whenever there is any violation of integrity we have three options one is reject the action which means don't delete anything second is on delete cascade which means uh, we are going to delete everything which is violating and third one is on delete nullify which means we are going to have you know wherever uh, since it is referring to 2 2 and 5 since they are going to be deleted you can put null here null here null here and let them be present there and a foreign key can definitely take null values a primary key cannot take it therefore having null 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 here is also uh, you know meaningful in some cases for example if a supervisor is uh, you know resigned if a supervisor is you know uh, fired or he is removed from the company then his particular uh, employee id and his particular record will be deleted it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to fire everyone who is working for him right for time being you have to uh, make them null which means they are they will not be reported for to anyone for some time or sometimes what happens is whenever any such violation occurs you can even say that directly we can put a value there like if i delete this person next this person is going to take the charge right so in that case it makes sense that you have nulls here right and the other case where this uh, you know on delete cascade will make sense is in case of dependents if an employee is deleted all the dependents on that employee should be deleted in that case on delete cascade really makes sense because if the employee is deleted what is the use of uh, putting the dependents there isn't it there it makes sense right and uh, what makes sense when that depends on the meaning of the database schema itself the database uh, designer while designing he will know the meaning of everything and he is going to write the constraints and it, these constraints will be given to the database management system once these constraints are specified this software will, will act accordingly if you if you specify on delete cascade that will do all the deletions if you specify on delete nullify it will put all the values null here for some tables you can give it as on delete cascade so where, where is this useful is uh, in the case of referential uh, this foreign key uh, concept so you can say that this particular foreign key whenever it violates you can say that it is on delete cascade or you can say this particular particular you know foreign key whenever it is deleted you can say nullify so for each table you can specify a rule it, it need not mean that for all the tables in the database you have to specify only one rule right so depending on the meaning you should take the meaningful action got it in case of uh, nullify this uh, cascade delete this may this one perfectly makes sense i mean this is the this is the action that has to be taken got it okay fine so this is the answer Hi, if you have planned to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee.
and looking at the salaries for computer science of uh, for software jobs if you have done your masters in computer science in us the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year so even if you take an average of 1 crore per year your savings will be much higher than the salaries in india after taxes and your cost of living you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year and in india the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs so your savings will be much greater than the salaries in india and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then lor guidance and gre and english test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which which means without any security now you can get education loan getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join game of visas so the answer is we have 90 percent success rate 99 percent success rate and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go so now it is not just usa we guide to uk germany australia canada so we guide we guide students to all the countries we work with all the destinations and if you are interested in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494554454 okay thank you